I'm so excited to show everyone what we've been working on at Sanzaro these last few years. Asgard's Wrath 2 picks up where the first game left off, in a mysterious tavern you can't escape from. You're suddenly thrust into battle with a giant creature, clearly from another realm. Just when you think all is lost, you encounter the Weavers of Fate, a trio of beings that set you off upon your adventure to find and stop Loki. <laughs> so just how much bigger is this game? Not only will you travel through new Asgardian locations, like Muspelheim, the Land of Fire, the Weavers of Fate will also bring you into new realms like the vast desert expanse of ancient Egypt. These massive worlds beyond the scope of any other game on the MetaQuest platform come alive in Asgard's Wrath 2. Dotted with temples, caves and dungeons, characters to meet, monsters to battle, quests and side quests, wildlife, crafting resources, mini games and more. This is a living world you can roam and explore freely. The most expansive of these worlds is the Great Sand Sea, full of hidden treasures and unique events. You could spend hours upon hours exploring this map and still not discover all its secrets. You might decide to prove your combat prowess by hunting rare high-level monsters that roam the sands, or gather plants, ore, and animal parts to craft useful consumable goods such as bait to attract wildlife, or a ward that provides a temporary AOE benefit wherever you throw it. But it's not all about survival. Kick back and fish, or beat your high score at the Slingshot Shooting Gallery. There's no shortage of stuff to do and see outside the primary quest line. These worlds are so big, you're going to want some more speed as you move through them. Luckily, you'll have the power of a god at your fingertips. As with Asgard's Wrath, you'll be able to transform a few brave animals into unique warrior followers to help you solve puzzles and eviscerate enemies. New in this game, they'll serve as powerful mounts that can carry you swiftly across the massive realms of Asgard's Wrath 2. Of course, what's fast on foot or mount can look very different to a god. Like Asgard's Wrath, you'll also see the world from the god scale perspective and use your cosmic powers to manipulate the mortal world around you. Reach inaccessible areas, solve puzzles, and more. You can't save the world alone. Egypt is full of would-be heroes who need your godly assistance to enter the realm of legend. Each hero in Asgard's Wrath 2 is completely unique. Different weapons, different skills and abilities, and different strengths. By possessing these mortals, you can help them fulfill their destinies and get closer to yours as well. The first of these heroes is Abraxas, a cynical tomb robber with a grudge against the gods. You and Braxis make an unlikely pair, but you'll have to work together to take down fearsome enemies like the bloodthirsty goddess Sokhmet. Abraxas seeks vengeance against Sokhmet for the murder of his father. With his boomerang axe, whip sword, and bladed shield at your command, he'll stop at nothing to defeat her. One of the aspects players love most about Asgard's Wrath, us included. It was vicious and brutal. Whether swinging a sword, throwing an axe, or even using your fists, the combat made you feel powerful and skilled. In the first game, the combat favored a defense first approach, meaning you had to block and parry a series of enemy attacks before you had a chance to remove their runic shields. This loop had to be completed three or four times before you could start damaging an enemy. In Asgard's Wrath 2, our updated combat system is centered around player choice. Nothing is holding you back. You can chip away at enemy shields through a flurry of attacks 
or laying skilled parries to trigger opportunity windows that let you cut through your enemy's defenses with ease. We also expanded the systems to include elemental types for a greater degree of player customization and wider variety amongst enemy archetypes. This time, we have a full physics system implemented for weapons, with swords, axes, bows, staffs, and more at your disposal. You can find a combat style that's right for you, but you'll need to change up your approach, as enemies will now react to your every movement and switch up their own attacks. You'll also unlock new skills and abilities as you level up, letting you invest further in the weapons you use most. Unlock powerful abilities and super attacks to truly change the game. Nothing feels better than seeing your weapon soar into the air and rain down on a horde of enemies. You'll also discover relics you can slot into your weapons and armor that will provide you with powerful buffs, like adding fire damage to your weapon or heal over time, allowing you to customize your weapon set against each enemy you face. But you won't be the only one leveling up. Your animal followers have their own skill trees and will grow in power the more you spend time with them. Even with an upgraded companion and all these powers at your disposal, don't think the enemy AI will go easy on you. As you level up, so will they, gaining new abilities, smarter tactics, sneaky counters, stronger armor, powerful super attacks, and relics to use against you. Some will even heal each other, boost each other's damage, or call for reinforcements. You'll have to use all the strength, endurance, speed, and quick thinking you can muster to forge a path through the ravenous enemies that lay between you and your destiny. For a true challenge, and the opportunity to earn bragging rights amongst your friends, you can step into the Uncharted Rift, an infinitely replayable dungeon hall mode with exclusive loot that you can take back with you into the main campaign. The rifts are always open, so you can visit at any point during or even after the campaign and put your skills against some of the toughest time-limited challenges the rifts have to offer. Face increasingly ferocious enemies as you delve deeper into the endless labyrinths, encountering the ghosts of players who fell victim to the rifts before you. With a friend or foe, these specters will be part of your dungeon, helping or hindering your progress. Survive long enough, and you'll earn a spot on the leaderboards and those precious bragging rights. The Uncharted Rifts are deep and full of mystery. They're almost like a whole game on their own, and we've barely scratched the surface of all the unique dangers you'll encounter. I hope that this first look at Asgard's Wrath 2 has you excited. We've got so much more to show you. More heroes, more companions, more gods, Loki anomalies. I can't wait to show you more.